All right, today we're going to work real quick with Google Documents, and we're going to work in particular with um, creating a um, collection, which um, is a neat way of organizing your data to basically allow groups of people access to it, and you never actually have to change those permissions. So you never have to take a document and share it with somebody. You can put it into a collection that's shared with somebody, and it'll automatically be shared. It'll make a little bit more sense as we kind of go. Um, first thing is to be in your Google Documents account. If you're not familiar with that, you'll want to get a little bit more familiar with it. When you click on the home page, this is all of your documents that you may have. Now, documents can be anything that you create with Google Documents, which would be Word, a Word a spreadsheet, or a PowerPoint. Um, it can also be anything that you upload. So it can be a file like a movie, or a uh, MP3, or audio file of some sort. Um, all of that stuff can be shared because it's actually uploaded to Google server and then it's in the cloud. Being in the cloud, anybody has access to it. So as long as you can um, get access to a web browser, you can then share that document with other people and everybody would be able to work with the document and it makes it great for classrooms. It's really ideal for it. One of the features they have is this thing called collections. Now collections are kind of like folders, but they're a little different in the sense that a folder would is kind of uh, associated with being in your filing cabinet and being something that you kind of have to make copies of if you wanted to give it out to other people. Well, in the cloud, there's no copies of documents. There's only one document that ever exists, but multiple people can see that same copy of that document. So it's really, really an efficient way of moving data. Um, how I like to use uh, collections, though, is um, I like to organize them um, by classes. So I could create a new collection by clicking on my collections clicking on the new collection in my collections button and then right here I could give it a name so I'm gonna just pretend I'm gonna call it sixth grade A and I'm gonna go ahead and click OK now once I've done that um, I've created a spot in my um, document window and you'll see there's no files in here yet but anything that I put into this section will have whatever properties I give the sixth grade A collection so if I click on 6th grade A and I say share and I want to add somebody that I share this to so I'm going to go ahead and add a person in here to share this document with and I can either choose that they can edit or view the document so in this case I'm going to let this person edit the document which means they will have full control over the document just as you do so this is great if you want to share a document that needs to be um, manipulated or changed by a group and then I hit share and save now if I would have put view on there, um, if I say that they can view the document, that means that they will be able to look at the document but not make any changes to it. They would have to actually make a copy of the document to make a change. You're going to want to do that a lot with your students because um, you may not want them changing the original copy of a document that you have, especially if it's like some information or something that you're passing out. But then we go ahead and click done. And now anything that I put into this collection will be shared with Tammy. So instead of me having to create a document and then share it with Tammy, now all I have to do is I can actually click on a, a uh, document here and I can go over here to more so I can just check mark it, say more, and I can say organize. And then what I can do is I can say that I want it in the sixth grade A collection. And then when I say apply changes, it's now a part of this sixth grade A collection. Now that I've made it part of that collection, anybody who is allowed to view that collection will be able to um, use the document in whatever fashion that I have the sixth grade A set up as. Um, this can also be used in reverse. So your students can create a collection. So your students could create a sixth grade A collection or they could create a math collection and then they can share that with the teacher. And if that happens, right here where it says collection shared with me, you would have a list of all of your students. Um, that's a great way to organize folders if you want to look at all of the data that they have. This is just another alternative to using the web dev server that we have in the building. You're free to use both. Um, I like this method because there's some 
kind of unique things that you can do as far as sharing here and you might find some some quick ways of manipulating data and actually you know maybe sending out a packet but you can put it in all the folders and it's just out to every student already and you can have them complete assignments and return them to you um, via the collection shared with me option so they would create a collection and then share it with you and you would be able to do it that way so it will show up in your collection shared with you the minute that they add you as a um, as an owner just like what we did here so the minute your student says that they're going to share this with the teacher and they put the teachers email address in here you will have access to their folder and you'll be able to see everything that's in there which is one of the reasons it's um, such a powerful tool now that Google Docs and mail and calendar are working pretty well with the iPad you're gonna find that the integration of this is so smooth that it really is going to advance your class. It's going to really help you keep your, your information organized. And so we'll work on this in the future and we'll try to um, you know come up with some strategies that you can use this in your class more and more and more and see if we can't make it easier for you guys to receive and grade assignments electronically and online.